Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Lindy here back with another video. Alright, this is going to be the one of four um, for this Mercury Retrograde Collective Message. If you're new or returning, welcome. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Alright, this will be a general message for... Um, all four elements is what I will be doing. So, if you would like a my personalized message regarding how this Mer Mercury retrograde is going to affect you, all right, just go ahead and um, look for the information in the description box below. Okay, so let's get into it. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna first start with fire. All right, so for Mercury Retrograde Fire Sign, this message is going to be for you. Okay, and this could be for Sun, Moon, or Rising, um, wherever you have fire energy in your chart. All right, so we're going to speak with the messages from Animal Spirit Guides or the Fire Deck. All right, um, I was pull up for this and as well as the Tarot of the Divine. So I'm going to go ahead and allow um, this and the ancestors. And then I'll just come through what messages are here for these fire signs for this Mercury Retrograde. Um, Mercury Retrograde started August 23rd and will continue until the 15th or 16th, depending on where you are, in the sign of Virgo, which Mercury rules. All right, so this is some deep analysis that is taking place. Um, some spring, yet fall, maybe clean, cleaning pretty much. And this is a portal season as well. So our energy is asking us to, you know, do some revision, serious revision. a simple three card spread here one and two and three all right at the bottom we have the mountain goat there's something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to correct it fire signs so we're gonna start with the first with the bruce or gross i think it's bruce express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing all right second we have walrus. Remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to the signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. The last gorilla. Take time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially family members. All right, so let's get into it. We're going to start with the bruce. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. yourself the movement by drumming and dancing all right we have the moon card okay this immediately reads to me like confusion which way do i go and a fire sign is all about action right which is why expression is extremely important so are you trying to figure out how to express yourself and if you're going to be understood clearly or not you having all these epiphanies or awakening moments taking place during this retrograde season and specifically mercury retrograde that is causing you to kind of look at some things a second time take a double take and that could create some some type of confusion it doesn't have to be serious or bad confusion it could just simply mean that you are taking a deeper introspective look at yourself and what it is that you're actually signing up for what is it that you truly want to get out of whatever
imagination, dream, fantasy that you're trying to create in reality? Like, what is your true motivation? And you could also be looking at this from other people where you're trying to figure out what their true motivations are. Um, are they playing a confusing role in your life? And do you need clarity on that? Okay. So we have here the six of coins, another moon card. Okay. So this could be a situation where you feel like you're giving too much, not getting enough in return. Or you could be wondering about all those investments you did make and if they're ever going to return to you um, as far as a monetary situation is concerned. Okay. Um, do you feel or sense that the work that you put into something being long term um, has run its course and now you're taking the time to actually reflect on why did you make those decisions or why that why that person chose to make the decision that they made um, when you were kind of authentic and raw with your emotion and giving to them, but it wasn't returned. So um, there may be it's come a time or a point where you need to express those emotions that you've been holding in for a while um, and, and vice versa. That energy can be returned to you where, you know, someone else. Um, has been contemplating on how they feel about you and they're ready to express themselves to you in a way um, that may be extremely generous <laughs> um, and very unexpected. Um, I can also see this as your dreams being very eventful, um, giving you again many insights and realizations into what's going on to your, with your day-to-day -day and how it relates to your wake life let's see one two three four five six seven eight flowers here okay eight is a number that is you know connected with the infinity symbol as well so um maybe we need to understand here fire energy that um you're gonna forever have these moments where you need to have deep reflective states meditative you know times where you need to search and look deep within yourself as to what your true wealth is at this time there's always going to be a need to check and recheck again um that's the virgo energy <laughs> to verify trust but verify um and ensure that things are happening properly and correctly um, according to your will, the divine will that you have, okay, the contract that you made in coming here, right? Um, and you could definitely have emotions or feelings being presented to you in a way where you're not fully able to grasp them consciously, but subconsciously they tell you so much about what's going on around you in your wake life or your physical reality and you need to pay attention to that because it's you it's you expressing yourself to yourself it's not you know the outside trying to talk to you from within to the within it's within giving you voice messages on what's going on without and for you to give it a little bit more attention and lastly we have the nine of coins so there's some type of progress that's being made. We're going from six to nine. However, between these two is a three. So there's some type of cooperation, some type of network, some type of teamwork, and some type of um, persistence or perseverance that needs to be made. If And then drumming and dancing, when it comes to expressing yourself, has a deep spiritual connection to, you know, what we are, right? So when you're deeply in a state of reflection on who you are or what you are, the divine is here to offer you all the many ways to express 
all of what and who you are. And it's up to you to take what your conscious mind, your subconscious mind has given you together and utilize it. Benefit from it. Stand in that truth. This is Virgo energy here. Stand in that truth and create. Because that's what you're here to do. You're here to be a alchemist, a scientist, a manipulator of energies. So you can create something new. We're just replicating the energy that already exists within us. So whenever you get to a point doing this Mercury retrograde, where it's asking you to, you know, be silent with yourself and really analyze what it is that's going on beneath the surface, is because there are some treasures hidden subconsciously for you to allow to rise to the surface and connect with you consciously. But it takes solitude. It takes quiet. It takes stillness. It takes you, you know, taking a pause and breathing so you can get back to this expression of your true self. If you're just constantly expressing yourself, but it's not coming from your deep, authentic, you know, version, then um, like this car suggests you could be, you know, put it on a show or put on a mask or put it on some type of, you know, dress dress up you're playing dress up and you're acting a certain type of way just to get what you want but at the end of the day if you're being honest with yourself it's like is this what you really want or is this what your ego wants right is this what your soul is craving or is it just the material physical part of you that's craving it that might have to be a distinction being made right now with some of your relationships okay so yeah with this nine of cups it's like are you just gonna keep overindulging in emotions or playing with someone's emotions are you allowing your emotions to be played with by other people because it's something you want physically out of them even though you know that it's not in alignment with you but you just like the attention or you know yeah you just like the attention of what's going on but there's someone here it could be your mother definitely but there is someone here that is you know praying that you figure out that you don't belong somewhere that you turn around and get your life together or you turn away from you know the same scenarios that keep playing over and over in your life um cut out the stress and get back to what truly made you who you are okay and that will include you having to you know face the dark side or the dark face of what appealed to you the temptation that appealed to you in the first place to continuously give of yourself in a situation where ultimately you had to rethink it like what caused you what drew you in what insecurities did this person or the situation speak to that made you readily you know want to dive into it only to know <laughs> intuitively that you know this wasn't going to last eventually you would have to walk away from it and everything you put into it but did you get the lesson you know don't pity yourself okay you were supposed to learn something about being real with yourself and valuing yourself valuing your intelligence as well so that you can make your dreams come true all on your own because you're the creator of your universe, right? All right, fire signs. Let's move on to the second. Remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. All right, fire signs. So the situation at hand 
usually mercury retrograde i think i'm gonna say this in all the videos too mercury retrograde whatever it brings any retrograde really whatever it brings to the forefront of your mind and the forefront of your life something you can't ignore you gotta deal with and pay attention to that's kind of like alarming if it seems overwhelming because the energy can feel overwhelming because it's like you're constantly being asked to do something do something do something do something namely say something speak up right because mercury is about communication and you feel overwhelmed we're gonna look at this. okay we got the two of swords and the eight of wands yeah you're constantly in a state of okay wait let me figure this out but then at the same time you feel the pressure of needing to respond and the walrus energy is saying to us to remain vigilant and pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices not the heat that you feel crowding around you. you you got a spiral back here you got hydra back here okay and then you got like incoming messages or incoming mail or you know statements or notices making you feel even more pressure to perform or to do something say something whatever but it's like okay keep the peace okay if you're not ready to act yet because you don't have all the required information or the facts and figures and how you can handle the situation do your research okay and pay attention to the signs and omens that you're being guided to notice and how you can handle the situation okay you know run up get done up that's all i'm gonna say about that <laughs> run up get done it all right so what else do we have here the hair fine yeah it may have to do with um institutions this could be a banking institution um you may want to take care of some type of debt that you may have and that could be making you feel overwhelmed trying to avoid going into deeper debt or creating debt after you have just gotten out of it that can make you feel a lot of pressure as well. Um, this can also be um, someone wanting to have a conversation with you that you're just not ready to have right at this second. Like a lot of people might be blowing up your phone or wondering why or they may be giving you some hostility or anger and you're just not in the mood to speak yet. Eventually, you know, you're going to have to open up these arms. You can't be in a stalemate situation forever, right? But you're being guided, okay? Not by the ego, <laughs> but you're being guided intuitively when to open up. And, um, and when you do, you will. When you do, you truly, truly will because you will have absolved whatever, you know, egoic impressions you're trying to make. Um, but most importantly, you would have learned all the collective, you know, you would have gained a lot more wisdom making peace with yourself in this situation versus being so quick to fight. You would have learned, gained a lot of wisdom in this move, this chess move that you're making, right? But again you're being led to make a decision like this okay there may be times where you want to speak out you want to say something because you're being provoked but this overwhelming urge to still not go there is present because you're being guided there's like you want you want to call this person and say something but they don't answer you want to send them a text message but then someone calls you or someone gets your attention so you have to put the phone down you think about going somewhere to go take care of something, but you end up being, you know, detoured to go in another direction, okay? Listen to what your higher self, your higher power is trying to get you to do. Understand the gist of what's going on here. You're not going to know, you know, everything, especially with this moon here. You're not 
obligated to know everything that's being done on your behalf, but you are obligated to know that when it's time, you will be elected to have that open. You'll you'll see the open window or the open door to go through, to walk through. Okay. Yeah, at the bottom, we got the Nine of Cups. You'll be given the say so to go forth and, you know, make amends um, and get the time rolling again. Because once you um step forth and whenever and whenever you decide to move forward and actually have that conversation when you're being guided to go through that open opportunity that's going to be here for you i feel like the other parties or party is not going to be in such a state that they're in right now number one um and number two you're putting your trust in what your grand creator or creatrix is designing for you because once you walk through this door that when they open it there's no coming back there's no going backwards on this you can't unknow what you've accumulated okay it's something you're going to be able to hold on to forever as a way of protection okay not for manipulation and control in a negative not negative but not for manipulation and control for the worse but for the better because now you get to you know make the situation right with them they make the situation right with you and then you can you know move on you know you you won't have to be in this space um of constant conflict with yourself is if you're being too much or if you're not being enough that that's not gonna matter anymore you're gonna make complete peace with yourself and who you are first and foremost as a divine being then the human being side will be able to go ahead and walk forth through that door and communicate send that message figure out who you need to talk to all that good stuff okay when you move ahead in the situation all right so let's look at this gorilla Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love. Key, keyness in here, what I'm hearing is the key part of this is who, to those you love. Listen to those you love. You love. And I hear YG, who do you love, okay? Maybe you need to ask yourself that question first is who do you truly love? Who do you trust with your most intimate parts, your most intimate secrets? Who would you share that with? Scorpio energy, right? Could be the other one to Scorpio, right? All right, so we have the Emperor. <laughs> Aries energy, also Taurus as well. We got the Emperor here with the Queen of Cups. Okay, this instantly gives me the dynamic of someone who has a lot to say because they have a lot to do and someone who's willing to listen. Someone who's willing to receive all that this emperor has to really say. And you could be on either side of the spectrum, it doesn't matter. And you can often take turns, but there's someone here that is more than happy to receive whatever it is you need to say and you know when you get to a point of confusion which we have the confusion here okay we have the pause button on the outside noise here and then this is like have a one-on-one -on -one with someone that you can trust the one someone that you love 
and this is showing here with this emperor and this queen of cups that there is someone or some ones at least one person that you can be honest with and they'll completely receive you no questions asked they'll protect what you have to say you know if you want guidance or if you want advice um i could see this being the other way around um if you, the queen of cups is looking for leadership guidance advice there is an emperor that you can talk to but either way it go whether you're the emperor or the queen of cups in the scenario this is about someone you love or trust to even share whatever it is that's highly g14 classified information that you will just not tell anyone they're here to help you problem solve and this they're here to help you feel deeper into yourself and be real with yourself on a level that doesn't require logic but requires complete and utter just being open relaxing into your true feelings they're here to help you build and restructure what it is that you're trying to do they're here to help you forgive release reflect they both serve great divine purposes the queen is a support system the emperor is someone who takes charge in a situation. So if you're in the receiving end, or you're the receiver in the situation, you're looking to receive guidance and advice, go to your emperor. The one that you trust, that has a gray head on their shoulders, they're clear about what tactics to use to get you where you wanna go. Or if you're clear on the tactics you need, you know what advice you've needed to heed and you're heeding it, but you still want to tap into how difficult it can be, how stressful it can get, how dehumanizing it can be sometimes to interact with people and they don't understand you because you're so strong in who you are. And there is someone here who is more than happy to let you be soft with your strength. You don't have to put your strength, your intellect, or your boldness away. You can still have all of that and they will still accept you just the way you are. They'll receive you whole. You will never have to negate that part of yourself to be accepted. That's love, right? Ooh, and we have the two of cups. We have the two of cups. Okay, and here's our three of coins at the bottom. Yeah, there's a balance here. A balance of the soul. So if, even if you're not in relationship with anyone um, on a deep, intimate, romantic level, there is still someone here. It says family. Okay, not all family is relative and not all relatives is family. Let's get that out the way. <laughs> but there is someone, as the scripture would say, that relates like a brother or a sister that you can actually open up and turn to and just let yourself just be. And the Virgo retrograde, Vir the Virgo energy can definitely be about perfectionism, timing. You know what I'm saying? Creating something um, while you're in transition from one phase to another. Releasing, right? Getting out of habits or thought processes that no longer serve you, right? Having someone to structure that and having someone to understand that. To feel you. creates balance 
We have a higher guidance system for a reason. Divine masculines, divine feminine energies. There is someone who has, there's energy that's been personified for both divine masculine and divine feminine that we go to as a deity and give offerings to or pray to to help bring us this balance. But it's just you talking to you. It's that part of you that is having a discussion with that part of you. It's all energy, right? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could definitely see this as you just having, you know, you just trying to be true to yourself. And you feel the resistance and the miscommunication from others that makes you Virgo here, the hermit, make you want to go within tune them out eight of cups here go on your journey to self-discovery all right three of swords is yes they're losses but this is divine redirection okay to the ten of pentacles the sun everything is going to be okay just because you aren't connecting with people that you may think you should be able to connect with doesn't mean that there's not others more than enough of others that are there to make that connection with and i believe fire signs um you need to trust your instincts okay it says here pray about it that's what i heard pray about it but you need to trust your instincts about people the first time Okay, we got the Emperor and the Empress here together. All of this was divinely orchestrated to get you to wake up. <laughs> to get you to wake up to yourself. Because there's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever you need to to correct it. Reflect on what it is you need to do before you continue your expression. Um, when it comes to what's being went the timing of things that needs to be expressed or handled or dealt with um follow divine guidance in how this unfolds and when it comes to you know the releasing of this energy through conversation going to those that you truly trust um the tower listen to the people you love Listen to the people you trust. Make a list of those who you trust. And what is it about them that you trust to gain from them? And that just fixed sign, again, Scorpio energy, what's been consistent from that person since day one? Why do you love them? Why do you trust them? What has been consistent since day one? That you know you can rely on them and trust them when you speak to them you will be able to listen to what they have to say because you're going to trust that they're going to show up as this element, this frequency, this energy, this perspective that will ultimately bring you the balance that you're looking for. And again, this is no different than you having a conversation with your higher self. It's just that when you put it into a 3D format and address it up as another person that you love and trust it can hit different not gonna lie it can hit different so make it happen captain all right and that's the mercury retrograde collective message for the fire signs thank you so much for tuning into this message i hope it finds you well um again be sure to like share and subscribe to the channel before you go leave a comment below should you have any positive um, vibrational energies, you would like to leave with us here. And if you're looking again for a personal message, my information will be available in the description box below. Thank you and have a happy retrograde. Mm -hmm.